Hey there, Gemini. Welcome. This is Renee, and this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's happening, what's going on, what you can expect. And I already chose the cards just to save time, so I laid them all out. In your center energy, we have the Four of Wands, so there's celebration coming forward for you. That's beautiful energy. Um, there's reason to celebrate, reason to give thanks. And some kind of union coming together. We have a lot of love here. So this is beautiful, um, Gemini. So let's start. In the near past, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I feel like you have your eyes on somebody. Right, Gemini? You have your eyes on somebody or somebody has their eyes on you. But this is something new flourishing. And I feel like with this Nine of Cups energy, you are in your wish fulfillment. This is something that you hoped for. This is something that you dreamed of. You know, we're moving over here to the Nine of Swords. So I feel like this is something that you may not be expecting. You didn't think it was going to come through. You were in doubt that you were capable of manifesting this. So we'll look at that further. But I feel like with this Nine of Cups energy, you're moving forward. And I feel like this is moving at a really good pace. You're moving in this direction towards, you know, um, you're moving towards the Nine of Swords, actually. So I feel like you're kind of, you have these doubts, these fears, Maybe things from the past that are kind of holding you back, but this love, this Ace of Cups energy is kind of taking over, right? It's kind of leading the way. It's pushing you through. And this is something new. This is new energy, new love, new, uh, maybe something that you love to do. If, the, if you're not looking for a physical love, this is something that you love to do. This is something that brings you joy. Something that you wish for, that you're moving into. You could be literally moving in order to fulfill a passion or to just see new things. Maybe you want to get out there and see the world, right? But I feel like you're moving. You're taking some sort of inspired action towards something that you want towards a wish fulfillment right now in the present energy we have yin and never-ending story so i feel like beautiful things are happening for you this is the number two number twos are for union you know this is soulmate energy things coming together people working in twos right so I feel like whatever this is, this is something that you wished for. This is your, you know, your never ending story, your happily ever after, right? And I feel like you're a little apprehensive. You know, you're not quite sure where this wish is was going to lead you feel like it it wasn't ever going to transpire it wasn't ever going to come true and but you didn't give up you're not giving up you're not giving up on yourself or the idea of love and it's a good thing that you don't because i feel like there's celebration here you know there's get togethers some kind of union there could be a wedding we have the lovers. We go from the Ace of Cups to the lovers. So definitely some kind of love connection, soulmate connection. Someone is offering you their cup, right? In the future energy, we have leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So you can be pursuing some kind of promotion, some kind of job that puts you in the leadership um, position, right? Or you could be just leading the way, just really taking action, really t being assertive and being a leader. You're not a follower, Gemini. You are definitely a true born leader, 
right? And I feel like you have a lot of influence with others. You have this great presence, Gemini. And I feel like, you know, you're not backing down to this position. You know, you're not backing down. You're standing out as a star. You know, something that you wished upon, something that you wanted very much is coming about. And you're a star. Um, people see you as the star. They see you as someone who could be a healer. Someone who gives great counsel. Right? Someone who's very attractive, very assertive, who goes for what they want. You can also be manifesting very easily during this time because you're in your power, Gemini. Right? Um, you're also very fertile for new ideas. You're very fertile, literally. So if you're looking to get pregnant, you know, this is the time. You're very fertile for that. If you're not looking to get pregnant, it's time to take precautions because, you know, you're very attractive. You're very outgoing. And, you know, people see that and it, it appeals to them. Right? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So definitely a soulmate connection here. You have a lot of love and a lot of abundance. Right? This is great happiness. You're in your time. You're in your power. Okay? Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Let's get some cards to clarify for Gemini. With the Nine of Cups, the Chariot, and the Ace of Cups. Clarify these cards, Spirit. The Nine of Cups, please. With the Nine of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles. Stability. Grounding. With the um, Chariot, we have the Knight of Swords. And with the... <laughs> With the Ace of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups. Wow, two knights. And with this new beginning in love, we have this romantic offer, this proposal, right? So whatever you're wishing for, I feel like it's bringing you great stability. Look at what we have on the bottom. <laughs> Look at you, Gemini. Yeah, you are standing in your power. We have the Empress again on the bottom. So definitely, you are a beautiful soul, and people see you for that, okay? You're totally in your power. You're manifesting. You're being very assertive, very very bold, very daring, okay? You're taking action, and you're becoming more stable. There's some kind of offer here, some kind of offer of stability. This is very solid, this is very grounding. This is leading to prosperity, right? This king isn't greedy at all. This king wants to take care of his people. He wants to be very generous. And he wants to provide the people that he loves and cares about with stability as well as himself. So he's not a greedy king. He's, you know, looking to build his abundance accordingly, right? I feel like this chariot card, where are you moving to, Gemini? I feel like you're moving very swiftly. You're moving very fast. Things are happening fast. Okay? So, uh, whatever this move is, it's going to happen fast. It's not going to be slow moving at all. Right? And with this Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, there's this offer. There's a new beginning here already, but this is an offer that you're not expecting. This is a proposal. Your knight in shining armor. You can be male or female. It doesn't matter. Right? But there's a proposal here. There's an offer, a gift that you are going to find very valuable. Right? Spirit, tell me more about this nine of swords energy. Why do we have this nine of swords here? Why do we have those Nine of Swords here? The Ten of Swords. So we're going from the Nine to the Ten. So whatever feelings that you're having, whatever is bringing you apprehension and holding you back, 
that's ending that's done with right whatever it is it's like going to pass okay um with the four of swords excuse me the four of wands we have the five of wands so i feel like you know they, there may be competition there may be people around you who are like com competing with you um but i feel like it's very playful you may be training for something with the lover's card we have the king of cups beautiful so we're going from the ace of cups to the knight of cups to the lovers to the king of cups so this is very loving energy right this king of cups is bringing bringing in all these emotions along with that cup of love right he's pouring out his emotions to you okay with the nine of wands we have the hangman so i feel like you're going through a lot of thinking but i feel like you are you, you're not backing down you're just becoming more aware right you you may be when you're building that leadership role you may be kind of reading some kind of self-help you may be um, looking into what it takes to be a true leader um, but i feel like you're doing the research you're becoming more aware you're learning those perspectives that you need to learn you know you you are being enlightened right gemini with the star card we have the ace of swords so a lot of clarity coming to you this is a breakthrough this is breakthrough energy this is being sharp on your feet right being sharp with your words your communication knowing exactly what you're going to say maybe even before you say it right with the empress we have the moon card so i feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting it hasn't really been revealed to you yet but i feel like it will i feel like it will be revealed to you and it's going to be very unexpected okay I, I feel like whatever intentions you're putting out there are going to come back to you tenfold right at the bottom we have the two of cups again so definitely love there's no overlooking it it's love and we have the fool in reverse the nine of pentacles the two of swords you don't even have to think about this the page of cups you don't even have to think about this offer you've already made a choice you're like yes 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 you know you, you're not looking to be independent anymore you're looking to um be a couple right you're you're looking to tie a knot okay so let's take a look at the love oracles let's see what's going on for gemini the next 48 hours i feel like your next 48 hours are always so dramatic okay we have stability we have security we have permanence growth you know you're enduring something you're very flexible you're already very flexible gemini you're gemini you know but this is stable energy this is long term energy and i feel like you're working on your health you may be eating right you may be trying to make healthy choices or trying to lose weight or gain weight you know depending on your circumstances take it how it resonates okay and we have well okay we have heartbroken so there's something in the next 48 hours that is going to make you feel a little lost not quite sure what that is but there's something that's going to make you sad. There's something that is ending. You're going to be mourning about something. Give me one more card. Talking. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be talking with someone. I feel like there's a lot of texting going on. There's a lot of, you know, 
conversation back and forth. Okay, so there's a lot of communication. There's a reason to take chances. Okay, some kind of risk you'll be taking within the next 48 hours. Maybe weighing your options in a situation. Okay, um, but I feel like there's, there's a lot going on for you. In the next 48 hours, Gemini. Let's get an angel number for Gemini. Let's get an angel number for Gemini. We have the number 1414 possibilities, right? Building a strong foundation creates stability and welcomes in possibilities. All possibilities exist. And are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place. So be grateful for the little things that you have, Gemini, okay? Your affirmation, I am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater, right? Okay, Gemini, that is your next 48 hours. That's what's coming forward for you, okay? I hope this receives you well. If it resonates, like, subscribe, share. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure you take a look at your other placements. And um, until your next reading, Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light.